rain's never gonna stop. It might just become an ocean and make our house a boat. The weatherman said it shouldn't last long today. Huh? <gasps> Look at that! Sun! Hooray! Whoa! Wait! Check out this selfie Jerry posted! Look! Eh, not his best angle. I think he's asking us for help. Look, his wings are caught in the logs. He looks worried. Oh, he could be trapped. We have to go save him. It looks like he's in the lake in the forest. He could drown. We need to go, fast. <laughs> Hiya, guys! Huh? Uh, uh, What's the rush? To help Jerry! Hurry! We'll explain on the way! Jerry! What happened? I was taking some artsy shots of the rain and everything, and, well... Next thing you know, I'm a little over my head. Wings, rather. I have a plan. We need a way to get the water out. We'll dig a channel. Huh? The water will flow out, and then you'll be free. Mm hmm I'll run and get the rest. Katie and I will run and get the others to help. Thor and Chuck will stay here with you. We don't need to wait for everyone. We know how to dig stuff. Oh, oh. Hey, you're right. Digging holes is easy. <laughs> Hurry, help. We messed up. We tried making a channel, but it got worse. We thought the water would flow out, but it went the wrong way. We were supposed to dig in the other direction so the water flows away. Water follows the laws of gravity, guys. See? If the water is higher, it'll flow into Peter, someplace... Peter, no time for science class! We have to save Jerry! Here's the plan. Bull and Thor, block the channel. Quick! Poor Jerry's head is almost underwater! A rescue today would be nice! Go, go, Turbozors! Peter, what can I do? Help Unky with the logs. You can use them to strengthen the dam. The water stopped. Hooray! We saved you! Are you sure? Every cloud has a silver lining. Yes, like the rain clouds that caused this. Now that that's done, let's dig another channel on the other side to drain the water downhill. Let's go! Wait! Here's the plan. We need to rebuild the area with logs. And when we dig, make sure it reaches the lower pond. That pond is downhill, so it'll drain. Got it? Uh -huh. Well then, go, go, Turbosaurs! Now over there! Nice! It's ready! Now all we have to do is move the partition! Can I do it? Please? Hm. It's a wonder what we can do with water and gravity. Uh, 
I'm saved. Uh, huh? huh? Know what I want to do? Selfie time with my heroic friends! Oh no! Not more rain! <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Bull, Jerry, Unky, Thor, and Chuck, your Torbosaurus friends. Now they are on funny stickers in Viber. Join our channel and share your emotions with your friends. Hmm. Wanna try it? I know you'll have a good time, Chuck. You really think that I could? <laughs> <laughs> you want to try and park that thing? Maybe for everyone else's sake. I'm trying. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Uh. That hurts, Chuck. Oh, I'm sorry, Thor. These buttons are really small, and I have giant hands. Uh, I'm afraid uh, we dinos just aren't suited to play with race cars, Peter. But I wanted to play a racing game. Aww. Uh, hang on. We're all giant vehicles. Why don't we all have a real race? Uh, uh. How do you expect to have a race in the woods? And furthermore, we can't be on the highway. I got it. We could just build our own track here. Yeah! <laughs> I think there's enough room to build a track here, but it'll take some work. Here, look. It's okay if the track curves, but we'll have to clear out a bunch of rocks and plants and stuff. What do you mean, clear out plants? There's some great plants here. Don't tell me you'll move them. Lily of the Valley? Lily who? It's a flower in this field, even though they aren't blooming. It's an endangered flower here. So they're rare. Like, super rare. We have to protect nature, Peter. We'll figure something out to save them. We can transplant the lily what's her face with soil. Bull, can you uproot the stumps? Mm-hmm. And Unky, can you help move them? Uh-huh. Thor, you can break up the soil to prepare for the road. Uh -huh. Joe, use your big tires to flatten the path. Hmm. Chuck, you and Katie can help move the flowers. <sighs> and Jerry? Jerry? Hmm. Jerry can nap. What for? Because this is your racetrack. I don't have wheels the way the rest of you do. I can't even race with you all. You can be the judge then. Really? The judge? That sounds important enough for me. I'll do it. Go, go, Turbozors! On your marks, get set, go! Uh, uh, would have been first if I hadn't been shoved off the track. But you shoved me off too. It'd be easier if I had wheels or treads. What do you mean, Chuck? Huh? You won because it's easier for you to win. I judge you all lose. I thought this would be a fun and fair fight today. 
I don't know. It's difficult because we all have such different skills. Oh, man. I'm sorry. But how do we make it fair? I know. There's a really simple way to make this more fun. Let me think. You can do it as dinosaurs. Sound good? On your marks, get set, and we're off! Well, of course Chuck would win. He's got the longest legs of us all. <laughs> Chuck, are you okay? Never better. Let the race go on. Huh? Looks like everyone won. What a great race that was. By the way, don't you think we should have some sort of aerial race next? With a wonderful prize for the winner? Yes? <laughs> Why are you all laughing? And don't you think it'd be fun? <laughs> Three, two, one! <laughs> What are you all doing? It felt like there was an earthquake. Peter, it's a jumping contest, not an earthquake. Long jump contest. More like deep jump. What if you three had your contest somewhere else? Maybe in the forest? Better not, Katie. What about the ravine? Ravine? What ravine? Is it deep? Uh-huh. It's very deep and very dangerous. Huh. Where are you both going? We're going to have a look! We'll be quiet this time. <laughs> Finally, we're getting serious, huh? Give up, Unky! In your dreams. Ready? Three, two, one! <laughs> Landing that way didn't hurt? Like, not even your tummy? I have a tummy of steel. Sliding on it doesn't hurt at all. Huh? Are they setting a new concrete road? Nope. I'm setting a new world record. But what if the workers come back? We'll worry about that when they come back. Wow. That's quite a long way to jump. And a long way to fall. Uh-huh. A long way to fall. <laughs> Someone scared. Yeah, scared for you. You're the one who never knows how to break. I don't know how to break? Huh? Ah. That's it. Challenge accepted. Three, two, one. Wait a minute. I changed my mind. Like I said, Thor is afraid. I believe that you can make it, Unky. But we really shouldn't. Ah. Oh, yeah. Who's the champion? How you gonna get down, Mr. Champion? Uh, uh, there isn't enough space to gain the speed I need. <laughs> but your world record! I think I'm stuck, Thor. You have to get me down from here! Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Too high! Can't reach! Take this! <laughs> no, that's not gonna work. Oh, my plan's not gonna work. I think I found us a better plan. Plans for the road. <laughs> and how does that help us? Nothing is impossible, Jerry. If Unky can't get across the unfinished road, then we will just... Lie him down? Finish the road! How could we have not thought of that? Go, go, Turbozors!
Straighter? Straighter? One of the columns is crooked! Now we have to make a map, so Chuck can put the street pieces in place. Time. You followed those instructions exactly, right? Don't worry, Unky. We did everything by the plan. Three, two, one! Uh, say hello to your champion! Hooray! Hooray! Ooh wee! The new road we built is very smooth. You want to race, Unky? Maybe chess could be fun? Nah. Uh... <laughs> ah. Well, Thor, want to jump? Let's go! <laughs> but first, let's finish building the bridge. What are you guys so busy with? Just some spring cleaning. Our grandma's gonna let us go to the movies because we finished all our chores. Really? I wanna come. We've never been to the movies. We've cleaned enough today. I say we should take a break and go to the movies with you. Okay, but what about Chuck? Won't they notice him? I have a brilliant idea. I'll keep watch and yell out a warning if it looks like our cover's about to get blown. Hooray! Go, go, Turbozors! Movies! skills. Hi, kids. Are you going to the outdoor movie? You guys better hurry up now. Don't want to miss the trailers. Yeah, she's right. We'll miss the trailers. What's a trailer? Tickets left. Sold out. Oh, early bird gets the worm, I guess. Or the movie tickets. <laughs> Quick, go hide! <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Oh my, what impressive marketing they've done here. Hey, come look! Hmm. 
Hmm? Huh? Huh? Uh, Nora, do you by any chance see a, a huge truck past that wall? Uh, or something? Huge truck? Over that wall? Mm, it looked like it was watching the movie. <sighs> we wanted to go, but we didn't get to see anything at all. Don't give up hope just yet. Follow me. I have an idea. This used to be something really interesting. The drive-in theater. People would sit in their cars to watch the movie. After the movie theater was built downtown, people stopped coming. But we can rebuild it. Clearly one movie theater isn't enough. And if the audience is all cars... Brilliant! I see what you're getting at! In our car forms, we'll be able to watch the movies here and not have to hide! First things first. We'll remove the debris, plan a layout, and clear the area. Then we'll make a screen. Any questions? Go, go, Turbozords! That spot right there. Thanks, guys. This looks amazing. Now it's time to be an audience. Doing. I need something original. <sighs> well, maybe you can just find a new photo subject. Huh? Checkmate. Let's back up. If at first you don't succeed, you just try again. Checkmate. Again? This is hard. What should we do next? Anything. Originally, Katie and I wanted to ride on the Ferris wheel today. But it's not open yet, so we have the whole day free. Ferris what? What's a Ferris wheel? It's a real tall ride at the carnival. And you get amazing views. Views? I have a great idea. Joe! Hmm. We should get a photo on that Ferris wheel, Joe. Hear me out. It's the photo I've been waiting for. If you go up in that Ferris wheel, just for a little while, I can see it now. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a majestic Joe! Sorry, Jer. I don't feel like it. Joe! It'll be so unique and cool! Don't you want to help me out? Eh? I'm already unique and cool, and I'm afraid there's nothing you can do to persuade me. Hmm. What are we waiting for? Hop in! Let's go while the lighting's good! Look, you can stick your head out the top! Cherry, do you know how to run this thing? It only goes one direction. How hard could it be? You set? I think you're ready. Mm -mm. Blast off! It's beautiful. I can see the whole town. All ready? Say cheese, Joe! Uh, what's going on? Why did it stop? Uh, don't panic. I'll be right back. Cherry, hurry! I'm nervous! It won't move! It's stuck or something! Whoa. Oh. Eh? Hmm. Oh. Jerry! Just who do you think you are? An amazing photographer and genius! And humble to boot! I'll hold that thought though! I'll go get help! Don't move around too much! Oh. 
I don't like this, Boris. We shouldn't go in yet. Fine, I'll go in myself. But it's closed. Can't we just wait? <laughs> Did you hear that? Someone shrieking. It's the wind. No one else is even here. We'll get Joe back safe and sound. Chuck, try and hide yourself when we go into town. Bull, take him on the trailer. Katie, let's go together on our bikes. Go, go, Turbozords! Anyone have any good ideas? It seems simple. Let's just spin the wheel until Joe is back on the ground. Hey, we got company. Boris and Bruno. Don't panic. Jerry, hide. Bummer. Guess we're huh? not alone here. What are you nerds doing? We were debating something. You think you can do this maze in under an hour? Well, duh, of course. You want to bet you can do it? The clock's ticking, you two. How'd you come up with that? Bull, make a level platform for Chuck. And Chuck will need your help with the Ferris wheel. Thor and Unky, you have a more special job. We need you to keep Boris and Bruno stuck in the maze. Move walls around, hide the exit, that kind of thing. All right, team. Go, go, Turbo oh, Zord. Don't mess up anything worse than you already have, OK? I don't get it. I feel like we've been to this part before, but it looks different or something. Hooray! Ah. <laughs> Need a hand? Uh, a front loader? Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I'm glad you're okay, but just look at these shots! Yeah? Yeah, really! No luck? Told you this maze was hard. It's fine, follow us. We know the way. <laughs> Easy on the propellers! Hey, I'm a very fragile dinosaur lady! Oh, if I had wings, I... Getting ready for the race? Wow, what kind of race? The obstacle race, of course. The winner gets to take the Turbozor's cup. Bull, Chuck, Bull again. Wow. And here's Joe. She's a four-time wow. champ. Wow, even Thor is here, and Jerry too. Uh, that was a long time ago. Since I'm no longer racing, I watched the race from the air. And where is Anki? His name isn't here. Unky isn't there because he's never won the race before. Yeah, Unky has no luck. Unky says he doesn't want to participate in the race anymore. And besides, he doesn't have any wheels. You're absolutely right. He doesn't have wheels, he has tracks. He can't drive as fast as all of you. Well, I don't have any wheels either. And I was able to win just using my feet. You can't compare with him, Chuck. It takes him 10 steps for every one of yours. Remember, this is a race. The fastest wins and all that. Wait a minute. What about your friendship? Tell me, Joe, how many times has Unky told you, huh? And Thor, when you fall into the river, who pulls you out? So what should we do? I've got an idea, Bull. Again with this race? Every year it's the same thing. I'm bored. Hey, Unky. 
pay yourself. Why are you here all alone? Everyone is waiting for you. Yeah, well, I... Anki, come on. What could they do without you? Who is the smartest? Anki, who always rescues everyone. Anki! Yes, yes, yes. Before the route was easier, but now you have to be able to think. I, for one, think you have a really good chance. Oh, I don't know. You are, in fact, very fast and agile. But I only have tracks, Katie. And all of them... They have wheels. By the way, tracks can be very useful, especially off of the road. Mm. Okay then, there will be a sharp turn behind the old oak tree, so be careful. And then the pits and the bumps begin, so be sure to keep an eye out. All participants, get ready! Go, go! Turbozords! Anki, come on! Step on the gas! You do have a whole year before the next race, so start training. <laughs> <laughs> another goal, then I can really show off all of my skills on the field. <laughs> While all of you have been over here having fun, I spotted three, three people with giant bags, and they're headed this way. Giant bags? Yes, they had huge giant bags. They carried them on their backs. It's probably just some tourists, tourists with backpacks. Well, let's go, team. We can't let them see us. Jer, what have you done? Why is this my fault? I was tired and sat down to rest. These stones have been broken for 500 years. Huh. We have to move that stone and quick. No, but we don't have any time. These, uh, these, uh... Tourists. Uh, yes, tourists. They're so close. 
I've got a plan. We'll distract them. Chuck, I'm going to need your help. Follow me. Do we need the ball? <laughs> no, I need another one of your talents. <laughs> In the meantime, we've got to fix the base. Turbozors, go! How much further is it? We're real close. There's a clearing through the trees up ahead. We can set up camp for the night. Huh? Anything we need to worry about in this forest? Any bears? Wolves? <laughs> no, no. It's absolutely safe. Chuck. When they get closer to us, roar as loud as you can. You know what to do. <laughs> Scare them out of the forest. I'm a little out of practice roaring, but I'll do my best. Let's go. Bears, raccoons, Chuck, that was brilliant. You're so good at everything. Uh, and so modest, too. Uh, now we'll definitely have the time to fix the base. That wasn't my best. Maybe I took some roaring lessons. Hmm. It's not coming out. Let me give it a try, Bull. Ugh. Good. I can't get my hooks around it. I'm gonna crush the stone into a bunch of smaller rocks. The boulder is just too strong. What do we do? We've managed to distract the tourists for a bit, huh? but they could get here any minute now. We have to figure out something, and fast. I know what we could do. Let's make a lever, like this. We need a strong log. We put one end of the log under the stone and push on the other end as hard as we possibly can. Hmm? I saw a fallen tree nearby. That could work nicely. Chuck. Follow me, I'll show you. Maybe we just go back. We press on. We need to know what creature made that sound. Maybe we'll discover a new species. I uh -huh. think it's Sasquatch. Huh? Uh -huh. Chuck, push down that log. I spot tourists. <laughs> Hurry, they're getting closer. Bull, Chuck needs help. Well, that's that. Thanks for the help, friends. Of course, Bull. We're a team, after all. Hello there. Kids, you wouldn't happen to have heard some strange mm -hmm. sounds recently. They were coming from this direction. Huh? An awful, terrible, loud roar from a wild predator. Hello? Wild predator? Don't have any of those here. Our forest is perfectly predatorless. Loud roar? I understand. We were playing tag, Stone Age style. Peter was the saber toothed tiger, and I was the cave woman hunter. Hm. Rawr! <laughs> Rawr! <laughs> and you thought it was some bear, raccoon, saber toothed tiger. <laughs> huh? Hmm? You're up! 
Oh. Oh. Anki, now it's your turn. Hmm. Nice try. Maybe next time around. Uh. You wouldn't even let me compete because it would be unfair. I would soar. I would soar, soar, I tell you! That's why you can't! <laughs> Joe is in the lead. Her jump was the farthest. And most graceful. Your turn, Chuck. Uh, uh, Chuck, where are you going? You gonna jump? If I'm going to beat Joe, I'm gonna need a running start. I think we should get out of the way for safety. That sure is something else. <laughs> A new record! Chuck, are you okay? <laughs> totally okay. I only got hurt once when I was a hatchling. I was young. <laughs> that was a great jump, Chuck! You look like a pterodactyl soaring through the air! That competition was so fun! <laughs> We're doomed! We're doomed! Think back. Where could you have lost the medallion? I don't know. I had it this morning. This is serious. We're going to need our friend's help. Jer, call Katie and Peter. And we'll continue the search mm -hmm. here. Thor, Unky, wake up! Uh, huh? Thor, check out the other end of the clearing. Chuck, your height will help us see everything from above. Uh, Double time, let's go! Uh, Peter! <laughs> Katie, emergency! It's horrible. We really need your help. Chuck went and lost his medallion. What are we gonna do? Lost his medallion? Big deal. I lose my hair ties, bracelets, and bows all the time. Yeah. Let's make a new medallion. I wish it were that simple. Follow me! Each of our medallions are keys that allow us to open the base. Anyone who doesn't have a medallion will be unable to get in. And Chuck lost his medallion! What are we gonna do? He can't go in after them? I don't get it. Chuck, show them. We can't leave him here all alone outside at night. And we don't abandon our friends when they're in trouble. Besides, no human can see him. That'd be horrible. Every problem has a solution. I've got a plan. First, we'll disguise Chuck. Then the others will go to the base. We'll figure out the rest tomorrow. I hope this won't hurt. We'll need lots of stones, branches, and twigs. We can find all of them in the woods. Go, go, Turbo Swords! Go sit down under the tree. Let's build that disguise. And now, the finishing touches. Heads up. Now we all head home. Tomorrow we'll figure out what to do. Chuck, stay still. Well, it's morning. You think of anything? Not yet. Mm, you? Me neither. And what is that? Huh? Oh! Grandma always told us sleep solves everything. <laughs> but where? Where did you find it? All of us looked everywhere. It turns out Florian found it. <laughs> and took it home in his backpack. Huh? Wow, look at that! Where's Chuck? <laughs> 
Hold on to that. Try not to lose it. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Because of you, I slept like a log. <laughs> <laughs> to bother you, but is there any way you can go next door to ask Mr. Charlie if he needs help? He's been working on something all morning. Yeah, no problem, Grandma. <laughs> Whoa, what are you making, Mr. Charlie? Well, more like unmaking. Taking apart this door. Don't worry, we're here to help out. Wonderful. I need to remove these boards. <laughs> that was easy. Glad that's done. Now I'll have space for a flower bed. Oh, and with these spare parts, I know what we can do a birdhouse. A small wooden house for birds. Whoa, sweet! It helps the birds in the neighborhood and thanks them for singing so sweetly for us. Oh, that's so nice! We make homes for the birds and they return the favor by living here and being lovely. <gasps> There's a bird! <laughs> I think I hear your grandmother calling you. This board I'll bring with me. I almost forgot to give you this. Hang it wherever you like. Thanks a lot! Yeah, thank you, sir. It's so cool! We'll find a good place for it. I can't wait to show the Turbozors. The board, too? We'll figure something out. We've got plenty of time. <laughs> oh, good. A mailbox. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. It's for birds! For them to live? It's such a small, cute house. You know, I'm rather bird-like. I want a birdhouse. I guess we could build a birdhouse for Jerry. That's a great idea. How should we begin to do it? We'd need things like bricks, but I don't see any here. We might not have any bricks, but we've got wooden boards. We just need to pick them up. They're right outside old Mr. Charlie's house. Go, go, Turbozors! What? I ruined what now? Ugh. Oh, nothing! You made it much better! Mr. Charlie mentioned he wanted a place to plant his flowers. Flower beds are a piece of cake! I'm getting a ride. Another job well done. Go, go, Turbozors! Chuck, be careful. This is my house. A very special, important house.
once said, he builds birdhouses, and in exchange, the birds give him music. Well, I am multi-talented, you know, but I've never tried singing. <laughs> Stop. What? Was that not wonderful, Bull? It had a certain ring, like a cuckoo clock. And you don't need singing lessons to do that. Cuckoo! 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 <laughs> oh! Oh, lovely! Good job, kids. Cuckoo! Huh? Cuckoo! Hmm? Cuckoo! <laughs> Strange bird. Been three hours now. I didn't even know cuckoo birds could do that. It sure is a beautiful day to be outside. Plus, we have ice cream cones. And even the birds look happy. <gasps> huh? Huh? That was a close one. Huh? 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 Nobody's here yet. Maybe we just got here too early. Not to worry. They're on their way. Hey, everybody. What's the big plan for today? It's the perfect day for a sporting event. Like the high jump. I think I may have it in me to set the new record. What a great idea. Jerry, as the best high jumper among us, you will be the judge. I should have known. The real talent always gets sidelined. Okay, Chuck, can you grab the crossbar from the soccer goal and lay it on the ground? That's what we'll jump over. Let the jumping begin. Uh, ah. Bravo, Joe. On second thought, I'm not up to this. Next time. Don't you worry, Thor. You'll have your day. Well done, Bull. Chuck, set that bar as high as it can possibly go. I feel ready to set a personal record. When you're ready, go for it. A worthy attempt, Bull. Now what are we supposed to do with this stone? We have to get rid of it, but it's just so huge. Nothing is impossible. Thor, you think you can saw this stone into smaller slabs? I'm always happy to help so long as it isn't a high jump. But why should we cut it down? The city park needs to repair the stones on its main trail. We can make them new stones out of this big stone. Exactly. And later tonight, after the park is closed, we'll swap the old stones with the new. That way, this stone can help everybody. What a great idea. Go, go, Turbozors. Absolutely perfect! Now, we need to carefully place the stones in Bull's bucket and take them to the park. Then we can lay our new trail. But we can't do it without Chuck, so we'll have to take him along in the trailer. Hooray! Chuck's going to the park! Go, go, Turbozors! Unky, unload the stones. Now we need to remove the old stones. Bull, this is the job for you. Chuck, you can lay the stones on the trail. Jerry, you can help him by watching from above to make sure that the stones lay flat. So far, so good, Chuck. 
Keep going. It could be a little more smooth. More beautiful than I imagined. Joe, just check and make sure the stones are laid perfectly everywhere. All perfect. Chuck, you are a true master. I can't get enough. I'm not even tired. Let's lay stones all around the city and the woods. Who's ready? Maybe another time. We can't just leave these here. I know what to do with them. We can grind them down and sprinkle them in any cracks that form between the stones. So there won't be any puddles when it rains. Great idea. Thor, can you grind down the stones? Always happy to help, so long as it isn't a high jump. <laughs> it looks like your day has finally arrived, Thor. Sure, as long as I don't have to do the high jump. Uh, 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 <laughs> hey, great job, everybody. It turned out so well, and now no one else will lose their ice cream. Peter, Katie, do you think your grandma might want some new tiles in her kitchen? Gotcha! But only because these trees were in my way. It's a forest, Thor. The trees were there first. <laughs> it's okay, Thor. You'll catch up to them next time. You might just want to keep an eye out for the trees. They snuck up on me. Oh, do you hear that? It seems like they're building a new road. Now you're speaking my language. Building. How I would love to be a part of it. It's okay to dream, Thor. But it looks like they have enough workers without us. Nothing is impossible, Bull. Machinery breaks down all the time, so they might find themselves in need of a backup. And that backup could be me? Exactly. So when the builders leave, Chuck will get rid of the gate. And Thor, Unky, and Bull, you just stay parked in the place where the other machines are. Jerry, you capture it all on video so that both Katie and I can watch everything happen from right here. So we're just gonna sit there doing nothing? I think that's what he said. That sounds like fun to me. Is everybody ready? Well then, go, go, Turbozord! We're working on a construction site. Looks like our little plan was a success. 
And in just a few moments, we will witness the payoff performance of our backup plan in action. And where is Thor? Thor's cool. He was entrusted with his own special section. has made a name for himself. Everyone's so happy with his work. And yet, someone else got all the glory. Danger alert! Danger alert! They want to send Thor to the shop! Send him to the shop? Well, we have to help him. It's such a pity. I had to leave the build at the most crucial of moments. Maybe this will make you feel better, superstar. Technology on the verge of fantasy! Haha! <laughs> I think I remember someone saying I eat too much. Well, I say that famous fantasy machines need extra food for extra energy. Speaking of food, it's time for lunch! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Go! Move it! Oh no! It's closed now! Not only are there no new swings, it's all closed down! Let's go! Slides, right. swings... I know that we're grown up, but where will the little kids all go now? Peter, maybe we can help them out! We'll come up with something! Shame you kids are losing that nice playground for the new road. But there's other things to do, right? <sighs> we do know someone who can help. Sure do. Whoa, Jerry, do you copy? This is Peter, over. Peter to Turbozors, you there? Strange. They're so advanced, but can't figure out a walkie-talkie. Let me try it out. Hand it over. Joe! Chuck! Anybody? <laughs> ah! Such a shame! It's just not your day today, Anki! There's always next time. Anyone seen the radio? Hmm. Hmm? It used to be on the branch. Huh? Oh. Hmm? Boo! Anki! We need your help, guys! I'll take that! <clears throat> hey, it's Bull. 
Do you copy? Over. Boo! Glad you picked up. We need your help with a special new project. Go, go, Turbozords! Ready for duty. Your playground problem's about to get a dino-sized solution. I'm ready to build some jungle gyms. Let's excavate Jurassic style. Or wait, am I Cretaceous? Mm hmm? Hmm. Here's an idea. We should build tunnels. Tunnels? But how? Look, Unky and Chuck, you guys can help reinforce these right here. Bull and Thor, you can dig the trench. Concrete floors will help reinforce the jungle gyms. The tunnels will help kids be able to access the playground, and before morning, we'll just put it all back. What can I do to help? Joe, those headlights of yours will help us out a lot. My flashlight's not nearly enough. Looks like we've got a plan. Go, go, Turbozords! <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, great job. You're like a superhero. Uh, what should we do with all this stuff? I've got a little idea. Unky, Thor, Chuck, let's move. Another job well done, Turbozors. Hooray! Shh, keep it down. It's past their bedtime. A mystery in town. Last night, an unknown <gasps> construction company added a tunnel system to the playground. Bull, do you copy? Check this out. It appears to have been done by professionals. A new road was going to cut off access to these facilities, but now it's better than it has ever been. So a big thank you to this mysterious helper. Hooray! <laughs>